Let's say we have a bug on a pond. This bug is not moving. He's simply bobbing up and down. And when he bobs up and down, a wave pulse travels across the surface of the water. If now the bug starts swimming as he's bobbing, what's going to happen is we're going to get a wave pattern that kind of looks like this. You notice that the waves are scrunched up in the direction that the bug is traveling and they're spread out on the other end. This is what the wave pulse would look like if the bug is traveling slower than how the waves are traveling because the waves are spreading out at a certain speed. If the bug travels exactly the same speed as the wave, we're going to get a pattern that looks like this. And that's going to be called a wave barrier. This bug is going to have to expend a lot of energy trying to overcome that wave barrier. If he kicks it in gear just a little bit more and swims faster than the waves travel, we're going to end up with a pattern that looks kind of like this. That's called a bow wave, and I'm sure you've seen that behind a speedboat as it's gone down the river. That bow wave has that nice triangular shape behind it, and that's happening because the boat is traveling faster than the waves are traveling. So here are a couple of definitions. Supersonic means faster than sound as opposed to subsonic, which is slower than the speed of sound. If this airplane is traveling faster than the speed of sound, it's going to generate a bow wave in three dimensions, which we call a shock wave. Obviously, a boat on the surface of the water, we can observe the bow wave only as a two-dimensional V shape, essentially. Well, a shock wave is a bow wave in three dimensions, so it's cone-shaped. The sonic boom that results when an object is traveling faster than the speed of sound is not caused by the roaring engine of, say, the airplane but it's rather caused by the high pressure air. In other words, on the outside of this cone, all of those wave fronts are added together, which produce a very high pressure, high density region. And when that high pressure, high density region hits our ears, it sounds like a boom. The tip of a lion tamer's whip cracks it snaps because the end of the whip is moving faster than the speed of sound. If you've read any accounts of modern warfare and the soldiers describe the bullets as snapping, that's because the bullets going by are doing just what this airplane is doing and dragging behind them a mini shock wave, which sounds like the bullet cracking as it goes past. There's a scene in The Matrix when Neo and Trinity are trying to rescue Morpheus. And they visually show some of those shock waves. And I thought I'd end this lesson with a few cool pictures of supersonic aircraft that create shock waves as they travel faster than the speed of sound.